I may never leave this tent again. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all the different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every time we're freezing, you'll be alerted to it. You keep moving and you're making the <laughs> sun like reflect a glare i'm trying to get closer to the sun maybe sit on top of it <laughs> welcome to day 31 of the beef butter bacon and egg challenge we are still camping here on lake mead and it's sunrise in the mountains which we just don't see that's Is it just the not a no, thing wait. we get to have access it's to. it's sunrise in the desert with mountains behind us it's Isn't amazing it? are we in the mountains or are we in the desert i don't even know we're in the desert well mountains. if if you're from florida if you're if you if you're, you're anywhere no other than zero you know sea level you're in the mountains right so i mean it is gorgeous i mean i don't want to affect the camera too much but look at that sunrise coming up over the mountains i'm pointing to it like you can't figure out oh, the sun. Figure out. oh, oh the in sun. case you missed it this shining thing <laughs> it's Sorry. a little cold this morning and uh steve woke us up well we actually woke up the cold woke me up yeah the, the coyotes, i got a pee woke me up the coyotes howling woke me up i laid in bed for about an hour and a half in going, denial I have to pee, but it is really cold I don't out there. Pee that bad. <laughs> but it was really cool because, like last night, we heard lots of coyotes. Yeah, uh, we didn't hear any the night before. And I'm used to camping in Florida, where all you hear is crickets and maybe the scurrying There's of some no raccoons. There's no bug sounds. There's just no bug sounds at all. Yeah, it's amazing. No crickets. Just it's... complete quiet. Yeah, I don't it's... think I've ever had that in my life. Well, we've never even really experienced camping where. The only thing you see is stars because anywhere we go camping, somewhere in the distance, there are city light. lights and, and here there's nothing. It's wonderful. This place is amazing. It really is. We've had such a good time hanging out with our friends. I really don't want to go home, um, but we need to. Yes, we do. So this Miss will be- the kiddos. An, yeah, we do. They, they always pull us back. <laughs> like, oh, but I miss the babies. This will be an interesting day food-wise because- uh, we have to leave for the airport here. We have to leave here at 10. It's about an hour and a half drive that will put us at the airport somewhere around 1130. Our flight is at 115. So we might be able to find something in the airport without, I don't know, the airport might cost more money than actually eating in Las Vegas <laughs> yeah, on the right. Strip. Yeah, seriously. So we're going to see if we can find anything because we don't land in New York until, in New York, in, in, in are you, Florida. Are you until 9.17, I'm thinking New York time. Right. You know, we land at 9.17 at night. Right. And I'm not going to want to cook when we get home. So yeah. that's either going to be a day of fasting. Right. Or it's gonna, we're going to find something in the airport. I, I was going to message Anthony, who's going to pick us up and say, hey, could you, like, brown up a pound of ground beef for just us? bring it with you. And just, well, just if it's cooked, and then all we have to do is throw it in the microwave when we get home. Maybe we can eat something. Oh, that's good. But idea. it's going to depend on, like, our flights. Oh, wait. <sighs> I'm smelling baking. I smell it. It's it's somebody's oh. turning on the grill. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, so we'll we'll have to see how the day goes. Overall, though, I mean, we've done nothing but eat beef while we were here. It has been awesome, and you felt great. Yeah. I, you think to yourself, like I always have. Oh, to we have, had eggs yesterday. Like a ton of variety in order to be happy in life. Well. The variety came in what we were doing and what we were seeing and the conversations we were getting to have. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you just have hamburger, right? You, you know, I mean, steak is is extra. Like that, that's pretty awesome. But I yeah. mean, bacon and eggs, like the most traditional breakfast, and you're like, well, that's not enough variety. But our life was the variety. Yeah. Well, I was thinking last night that we would not. 
be able to have done this had we not lost weight. There goes Steve. Wow. On the water. In in, in the boat. I don't know if they could <laughs> capture that. We have to go closer. Um, we would not have been able to do what we're doing right now four years ago. No. Right? You know, yesterday we went on the tube and uh, we did get beat up a little bit. <laughs> Uh, my neck definitely hurts because it was very rough out. No, yeah. I, I think you would have enjoyed the tube a lot more if it was like this. Like a glass. Because right now the water is like glass. Just, well, and I, like I told Lynette when we were talking, I wouldn't have even ventured out. That's the problem. Who knows what I could have done right. at 250 pounds when I finally got there. Who knows what I could have done at 200 pounds when I finally got there, but I was still stuck in that rut of I can't do things. That's right. I'm not, I will break things. I, I will make a fool of myself. And so I couldn't enjoy it until I got like lower and lower. And I think that's a, such a tragedy yeah. right where you're at. If you're, if you've just lost 15 pounds if you've just started feeling better in your feet and so you can walk there there is momentum to be gained and like adventure awaits and there's something new that we can do right now that we didn't do before that we didn't even try because i wasn't even trying yeah so uh we're gonna go see what we can do to help start breaking down i might get back in that tent that's got a heater running in it though <laughs> I don't know. Which one should we do? Help. I smell bacon. Bacon. Who do you I, think taught me how to cook bacon? I, Steve. Steve. <laughs> I feel like the dog from the commercial. Bacon, 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 bacon. <laughs> bacon I smell bacon. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. This tent is so warm right now. I may never leave this tent again. Except for Chris just said there's like five pounds of bacon out there. That may get me out. But I'm trying to figure out how can I eat the bacon in the tent without having to go out there to get it. I don't think you have a Star Trek transporter in the tent. I'm so thankful for this heater right now. Look, I don't have to wear my big heavy winter coat that Chris lent me. <laughs> I was uh, happy because I was pulling the rope in ooh, at the end. Ooh, bacon like, and eggs. Good morning. Good morning. Breakfast time. We've got four perfectly cooked, nice runny eggs and a whole bunch of bacon and butter on top. We got three of the four food groups. <laughs> we'll eat the fourth food group later on. What do you got? Mmm. 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 It is nine o'clock uh -huh. in the morning. We have to leave in about an hour. So we're going to go ahead and help. I already took down the cots. So we're going to take down the tent. I do want to say these tents are amazing. I want one. And uh, we don't really do tent camping, but it would not be a bad idea to have one of these. So we've always had those dome tents with all of the fiberglass poles and everything is put together with paracord and the paracord goes bad. And they were pain to put up. Like Rachel was never able to put those tents up without me because it was like crisscross the poles and which one goes where. This is super easy. So they actually have three different brands, but they're all like the same basic design. These are the, the Kodiak. Springdale, Kodiak. What is this one down here? Spring bar. Spring bar. Spring bar tent. So it's like a pole one way, a pole the other way, and then one in the middle, and then the whole thing just pops up. So I think, you know, we were originally thinking that canvas tent, like not going to work in Florida because when it rains, it's going to dry, but you had to dry the other kind anyway. You did. You may just have to pop this one up and let it dry a little bit longer. Kind of like having a pop-up camper in Florida, which is yeah. why we don't have a pop-up camper in Florida. <laughs> Be great for winter camping in Florida because yes. it doesn't rain during the exactly. winter. Exactly. During the summer, not so much, but boy, it traps the heat in there because even really last does. night- It really does. I felt- delicious like i did not feel really cold and the sleeping bag that chris lent us was working hard that yeah. thing was magnificent the i didn't feel cold until i had to go to the bathroom and then i was like i started unzipping I and i'm like it. it's cold <laughs> i just was like i need to go to the bathroom oop not that much i'm <laughs> good you know what i think i can hold it so we're gonna go ahead and take down this tent
when you leave a campsite try to clean up after even somebody else's mess you want to leave a campsite better than you found it we have created our own roadside attraction <laughs> and it is the leaning tower of garbage it's, we managed to get through the entire campus trip with only one bag. this worm-like structure is awesome i mean one one bag for a camping trip with seven people like i'm pretty impressed hey we're making use There's of one guy stuff over there. we're recycling because that's actually the bag from the tent. Yeah. So and we're recycling. And it's, you know, the, I don't know about the tent, but the bag holding the tent, four stars. Four stars on Amazon. What are you doing? Having a little snack. There was some butter left over. <laughs> and it's still hard, which I love because it's cold. While the camp is broken down, we were able to stay here long enough to help them break down all the tents and most of the kitchen. They're just going to load up a lot of stuff into the boat and then the rest of the stuff into the truck, but we've got to get going. Let the boat do some work. So it's time to say goodbye to Echo Bay. It has been a lovely trip. I'm so thankful that we had the opportunity to come here. It's always better with friends, but I have to say, even if you were solo camping, this would be a beautiful place to visit. Yeah, we were able to stay long enough to get most of the camp broken down. We got down all the tents, most of the kitchen. They just pretty much loaded everything that they can into the back of the truck. That's going to get loaded into the boat and then they'll reload the truck with whatever's left, but we've got to get out of here. It's different every single time we come to the airport. On one trip, they say two bags can equal the sum total, but now we have to move it one bag to the other so that each bag one is... One bag is five pounds over <laughs> and one bag is seven pounds under. So we have to move everything and guess the weight. Right. How much does the shoe weigh? At least we are not embarrassed to have our underwears just scattered all through the airport. Is okay. Mickey okay right now? Mickey's good. Mickey's they working should, hard. They should be good. So go ahead and take these and I'll pack everything else up. Did we do it? We did it. We told one is like 48.5, the other one is 43. And I think the culprit is some toiletries. This is actually a blessing because they were leaking in our bag. Well, we bought these when we got here to Vegas. Yeah. Usually what we do, is we travel with nothing or we travel with bottles that are almost empty. Right. Today, this time we came with nothing, figuring hotel would have enough and the hotel was <laughs> horrible. It was doing its best. So we ran to CVS and we bought a big thing of alcohol for Rachel's ears. She always has to put alcohol to keep them dry. Easy. And we bought a big thing of body wash and we figured it's brand new. Let's just bring it home. We could check in our bags. That was kind of messing with the weight along with some of the souvenirs we came home, but they were leaking. It's so leaky McGee. You know what? We spent 350 on it. We're gonna throw it out. Bye. Okay, so we've gone through security. This is the first time I can think of that even though we have TSA pre-check, us. We did not get stopped. Our bags didn't get stopped. We didn't get an additional search. We did everything right. Of course, we packed too much weight in one bag. Maybe in Las Vegas they're used to more camera crew stuff. Possible. I need to say something as I'm putting my wallet away from going through security. There's a little thing that Steve has that he gave us this coin. It's called the challenge coin. And you always have to have it when you're around Steve and Chris and all the kids. Or you have to get push-ups. Because if they ask you, let me see your coin. Do push-ups. You have to do push-ups if you can't present it. This coin never left my side. I was water skiing with this coin zipped in a pocket because I was like, I know that Steve is going to have me get out of the water and go, where's your coin? He was really nice just in case I didn't have my coin. He's like, I'm gonna be nice. I didn't ask anybody for their coin. Cause like, yeah, I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure it's in this purse, but I think I might've changed over purses and I might've left it home. So. so I just want Steve to know, I always had my coin with me just in case, but he did tell me he didn't have a water skiing. So I should have nailed him. They're playing The Gambler by Kenny Rogers. Do they just have that on a loop here? Because it feels like the song. Well, we are on the plane. I got my Burger King coffee. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. We were looking for some place to eat because uh, we did have the bacon and eggs this morning, but we're going to be getting in late. We probably won't want to eat when we get home. And everything was like $15 to $18 for burgers. So we found a Burger King at gate two, something like that. Yeah. D2, something like that. Got to hunt for it. We got three double cheeseburgers each with no bread, no cheese, no mustard, no no nothing on no it. No nothing. And packets on it. So it cost us like 
and I was like 30 bucks with the coffee. So $15 per person. So if you pull one of those out, she basically said, how do you want me to pack this? And then just put three burgers for each container. And uh, we're just gonna eat like a whole bunch of beef. So for breakfast, we had butter, bacon, and eggs. And now we're gonna have the fourth food group. Mm. Let's see how they did this. So basically just an entire stack of beef patties and it doesn't look like much bacon in there but yeah. I'm sure there is. What is there like four four patties something like yeah. that? Yeah. So I think I think we each get six patties so that should be plenty of food. Tide us over. Back at it tomorrow. Definitely be firing something up on the barbecue. So this is what we were talking about when we found that fat burger and thought it was a really good value to get a one and a half pound burger with bacon and egg on the side and we paid like twenty one dollars. So this is three of the double cheeseburgers from Burger King. Hold the cheese, hold the bread. So it's pretty much like the kids menu. And uh, we have two of these, so we each got three. And uh, this here costs us 30 bucks for two of them. So this is $15 sitting right here. And look at the size of those patties. So, but at least Burger King's got cleaner beef than McDonald's. But still not nearly as appetizing as what we got at Fat Burger. So I will say this is a much nicer JetBlue plane than uh, when we flew out. This is like a new plane. Uh, we have big screens compared to when we came out. We had these things like this, smaller than our phone. Viewmasters. And I have Electra to charge my laptop. So hopefully I can get the vlog updated or at least most of it edited so we can get it out tomorrow morning. Look how bougie we are. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. We made it. I gotta pee. I know. Five I, hours on a plane. I almost made it, <laughs> but the, that coffee was too large. So yeah, we. you know, I love sitting next to somebody that's super kind. Like I got a great seatmate this trip. So he was totally cool that yeah, I well I actually I getting up and bothering someone. I texted Anthony that we're here and he's we're early. Yeah. So he's not quite fine. here anyway. By the time we get our bags, he should be here. Yeah. This is my stop. Waiting for your ride to come around is like baggage claim. You're like, is that my car? Oh no, that's not my car. Welcome to humidity. Yes. It's been seven days since we experienced humidity. I knew in the bathroom to start stripping off the layers. <laughs> Take the layers off, you don't need them anymore. So we're uh, outside of the pickup and uh, we're waiting for Anthony. So he said he's like two minutes away. So it's like perfect timing. You know, the Thank only problem you. is, is we got a bunch of people here just sitting here, not picking anybody up and nobody around here telling him to move. So hopefully Thank he can get you, in here. Anthony. We're home. Uh. Are you glad to be home? Tabitha's glad we're glad, home. Tabitha's very glad that we're home. She's like, I love you so much. You've been away forever. So we just got home. We're going to say hi to the kids. Say hi to the pets. It is 10 o'clock. I really want to weigh myself, but I'm going to be good. Can't do it. And uh, a little hungry. I'm a little dirty. You're a little dirty. I'm a little disgusting. You're not. Oh my god, no. I know. Just, just I'm, I'm a little, Actually, little ripe. That a benefit of keto. You don't smell. It could have been no worse. body odor. I took it as a win that the person sitting next to me did not run for the exit sign as soon as I sat down. That's a win. Yeah. Bottom line is we couldn't have done this trip without keto. No. Couldn't have done this trip three years ago, four years ago. No way. I think beef, butter, bacon, and egg definitely helped. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs definitely saved us a lot of money. Yes. Because it's expensive to eat there, and we got super limited that we could only eat beef, butter, bacon, and egg. And camping was delicious because Chris and Miriam and Steve and Holly and Lynette, they had perfect food for us. They had steak, we bacon, could not burgers. have camped without them. No, it was amazing. We had so much fun. Thank you, everybody who's been following us along. We're going to get back into our regular vlogging tomorrow. So uh, you'll be getting a bunch of vlogs catching up, and then we're going to catch up on the uh, Keto Palooza one. Yep. Get everything back to normal. I know we're a couple days behind on posting vlogs, but we just didn't know what was going to happen what with happens. the internet. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun. So that's going to be the end of day 31 of Beef, Butter, Bacon, and Egg. If you like what you've been seeing and you want to see some other kind of videos, 
take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we go on a trip, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.